Hi guys, it's Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. I'm here in Florence, Italy at the Lorenzo Villarezzi Fragrance Boutique. This is the place to come to discover this brand that's based out of Florence, Italy. Um, you've got a wide variety of fragrances here to choose from and if you've never sampled the line and you are visiting Florence, it's a great stop uh, along your normal tourism stops to stop in for some perfume shopping. Um, so if you're interested and curious to discover this brand, stick around and you'll hear from one of the associates of this house. Hello, welcome. Uh, let me tell you uh, a bit about Lorenzo Villoresi. Uh, it is not just the name of the company, it is the name of the person that creates all these uh, fragrances. And he's from Florence. And actually next door, last floor, there is his atelier where he makes the personalized perfume. The Maison was founded 28 years ago, but he actually started um, even earlier. He studied uh, ancient philosophy and during his uh, research uh, and journeys to Africa and Middle East he started collecting essences and spices and then came back and started making the personalized perfume. Um, so at one point he created um, a customized fragrance for a lady. She really liked it and she was um, someone that worked for not just someone, someone important that worked for the Maison Fendi. So she asked him to make a collection of um, scented candles and pupurri. So he did. And at that point when uh, he got um, the order, the amount of pieces that they needed, he had to decide whether he wanted to become a perfumer or if he wanted to uh, follow the, the academical career. So, since we're here, the answer is obvious. Um, I let you try Tendre Neige, which is um, one uh, of his most important fragrances. Uh, it is inspired by La Femme de la Belle Époque, you know, the lady of the beginning of the century with a purslane face and rose cheeks. And here we have notes of um, tonka beans, uh, iris, uh, rose mask. It is a very delicate and uh, powdery with powdery notes uh, fragrance. We have not only the Eau de Toilette for Tendonesh, but we have the solid perfume that is available in this version. And if you're looking for something even more precious, we have the uh, perfume with a crystal bottle with silver top and silver label and this one here if you turn it like this it is not gonna come out only if you touch the skin and once it's finished of course you don't throw it away but you can refill it let me get the panel which is this one right here um, one of the characteristic of uh, Lorenzo Villoresi's fragrances is that they all have very rich formulas. So most of the fragrances have about 30, 50 ingredients, while there is one that have, uh, has even almost 100, but we're gonna talk about it later because it is the most intense fragrance, uh, one of the most intense fragrances that we have. So it is worth it to uh, try it at the end. So uh, we start with something very light as Tendeneige. We also have the, the powder from Tendeneige and uh, other products. Most of the fragrances from Lorenzo Villoresi have somehow a connection with mythology and uh, with journeys. So now we move to Africa with Piper Nigru. That is a fragrance um, inspired by the markets of uh, spices from Africa where the Sahara wind blows. So we have many kind of peppers, uh, black pepper, pink pepper, cardamom, nutmeg. It is a very spicy and fresh fragrance. Um, there are many kinds of uh, freshness. So uh, we have the floral freshness that we find in Hyperborea that is also um, 
a fragrance that has a mythological inspiration. In fact, the uh, Hyperborean used to be a population that lived on north of the ancient Europe and they were blonde with blue eyes and forever young. This is a bouquet of white flowers. So here he imagined this um, people living happily in this kind of Eden and having this uh, fresh breeze um, of white flowers. We have Aura Maris that is inspired by the sea breeze that carries with it the smell of the citruses from uh, South Italy, the spices from the Macchia Mediterranea and the salty sea, so we have some ozonate notes. If you're looking for um, something uh, very original, we have Yerba Mate, this one here, and here the inspiration are the fields of mate from South America. The, the greenness that you see um, comes from the actual ingredients. So it is um, natural, the, the color that you see is natural. Um, otherwise, um, I would suggest something um, more oriental like Kamasurabi. Kamasurabi means the pleasure of perfume in Sanskrit. Kama from Kamasutra and Surabi the perfume. It is a natar that used to be this ancient way of making perfumes in India. And it is this uh, typical, um, we call it, um, well, yes, when, when you combine a rose together uh, with, uh, with sandalwood and jasmine. Uh, talking about ingredients, um, well, you might like Lorenzo Villorisi's fragrances or not, but all of them have very, very good ingredients. So they're, they're very precious and um, they come from all over the world. So, in, uh, for example, in Tandanej we have the iris that comes from the iris roots and actually iris essence is one of the most expensive uh, ingredients that we have. Iris essence is, I think, three times more expensive than, than gold. So there are some that cost a uh, thousand euro per kilo, some other 100,000. So uh, another very precious ingredient that we find in perfumery is the uh, ambra, amber gris. Um, this one here is amber and it is a fragrance that belongs to the vintage collection. So this is more intense, more uh, deep. The blue fragrances, the one that come with the blue bottle, they're, um, let's say, more classical themes uh, such as uh, Aqua di Colonia, very fresh, uh, citrusy and pungent, uh, wild lavender that is inspired by the fields of lavender, of course, from the Provence. And we have Uomo. Uomo means uh, man in Italian because it is inspired by the real gentlemen, but we do have a lot of ladies that wear it. In fact, our fragrances, they're, they're all unisex. You can't make um, a division between men, women, uh, season, uh, occasion. That's something very personal and that belongs to you, to your own memories. You would never um, say there is a music for men or a music for women. And that's the same thing in uh, fragrances. So. Um, Yes, it is connected to our own memories. Another fragrance that we find in the vintage collection is the vetiver, that is a, let's say, a classical of uh, man fragrances. It has woody notes, and the interesting thing is that uh, actually it doesn't come from the woods. It, vetiver comes from the roots of the vetiver, that is this kind of grassy plant that doesn't look that attractive, but what we get out, out of it is very attractive. Um, another version that we have of Vetiver is Theseus, of course, uh, inspired by the myth of Theseus. And uh, this fragrance has a base of Vetiver with some um, citrusy top notes and a touch of musk. So this is a more um, original version of vetiver. Even though I have to say those that uh, choose vetiver usually stick to the original one. This, uh, this, well, this Theseus is a bit uh, fresher and lighter. 
uh, talking briefly about the other fragrances that belong to the vintage collection, we have Ylang Ylang, that is a tropical flower, very sweet, very uh, rich and warm. We have Tropicana, that is a very original fragrance, very fresh, very fruity. Uh, Sandalo, that is sandalwood mostly. Incensi is a um, mysterious fragrances with different kind of resins. This section here is for the home collection. We have uh, Pupurri, where you can see the actual ingredients such as uh, the nutmeg, the cardamom and the different kind of peppers. And for the other fragrances, for each fragrance we chose um, a different material. For example, Alamut comes with Arabic gum. These are natural resins scented with Alamut. Alamut actually is the last fragrance I would like to, to let you try, to show you last but not least. In fact, um, for Alamut, he won the Pricotti in 2006, that is the maximum achievement that a perfumer can ever get once in his life worldwide. And he's the first Italian uh, that won it. Alamut is a very warm, central fragrance with some notes of um, musk, amber, well, there are about 100 ingredients and it comes in this uh, ruby red bottle. And for Alamut, we also have limited edition um, collection that comes with a crystal bottle, with a Florentine leather case, and with a with a fennel. And each bottle is signed underneath with a number, so we have only 100 um, pieces. And I hope you enjoyed the tour and to welcome you here in Florence in Via dei Bardi 12. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Otherwise, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.